Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. I'm back and I'm giving you this face brought to you by Target. That's right, Target. There is nothing expensive on this face. Everything is very affordable. I went down to my favorite place, my safe haven, my therapist's office, Target. And I got a bunch of new products that I was trying for the first time and my favorite foundation. So if you'd like to see how I got into this look, keep watching. Got my Target bag. So first we're going to get into this primer and this is what it looks like out of the package. It's supposed to be colorless, but it has this, you know, new shade. So let's see. You better be poreless, girl. You better be poreless. Please don't break me out. I don't know how much you're supposed to put on. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. Not bad. It's a little color, but um, I'm sure the foundation will hide that. And then I'm gonna get into this NYX pencil in espresso. And this is it. Looks special. All right. Oh girl, I don't know. Eyebrow pencils make me nervous, so let's see. Okay, so here are the brows. Um, I think I like this pencil. It has a little warmth, very brow-like. It's not like too dark. It's a very, very nice color. Um, it's a little strong in the front right now, but <laughs> that's all right, we gonna work her out. Looks good, looks good. If I have to go in more later, I will go in more later. Now, to clean up my brow, I'm going to go in with the Instant Rewind Concealer. Like that. And again, this is the color Hazelnut. I'm a little nervous about this color because it looks a bit light, but I couldn't find anything else that didn't have like an olive undertone. Like, I didn't want it to be too green. What do you do with this? Oh my God, y'all. I'm nervous. Do you just push it up? You push it down. How does this work? Y'all, I am not used to a sponge like this, but let's see if I can clean it up. Get some on my brush here to clean up my brows. Now, I typically try to use a concealer that is closer to my skin tone for my brows, but we're gonna see what this does. Okay, here's the brow. I think the color is actually pretty nice. Um, it doesn't look too light at all. I think it's actually gonna be a pretty nice color. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other brow and be right back. Okay guys, here's my brows. I cleaned them up. I dragged down the concealer over my lid a little bit. And the brow color is, is looking a little more warm. It's a little red. It's not bad, but it is warmer, slightly bit warmer than my, my eyebrow pencil is, my normal eyebrow pencil. And we're going to use the sponges. Now let's get into the matte poreless foundation. 
You're gonna shake her up. They, so far they feel pretty good. This almost feels exactly like um, the Beauty Blender, the Sephora Beauty Blender. So let's see how this sponge performs. Now, I didn't set my primer because I just wanted to see how it performed without any setting powder. I like to set my primer with powder before my foundation, but we're not gonna do that. So, we're just gonna go in. Let's dab. You know how we do, we're gonna do one side. And these have the little, this has the little um, pointed edges, which would be very good for, um, Concealer. It's really soft. It's really, really soft. And I'm just going in with the first layer here. I'll probably add a little more. I like a natural finish. I don't like super, super high coverage. Let me see what this says. It doesn't say, it's a natural seamless finish. Um, doesn't say if it's um, maximum coverage or medium. I think it's medium buildable, honestly. Oh, okay. But. I love this foundation. Absolutely love it. All right, so here's the side with foundation. Very nice, like it said, it's a very seamless finish. It's very natural, I love it. And then here's the side without foundation. So the coverage is pretty nice, pretty nice. I can't tell if this sponge kind of like soaks up a bit of the makeup because I usually don't have to go in that many times but it feels nice but it may it may soak up a bit of the makeup all right so I'm gonna go in with the um, the elf sponge for this side and All right, y'all, see, you see what happens when the Lord doesn't bless you with natural brows? Your foundation might tell your business. That's what happens. <laughs> Back to this. Um, already, I think that this is like, this is not soaking up the makeup as much. So we're gonna go ahead and blend her out. So both sponges are damp. This one is giving me dewy. This one is definitely giving me a little more matte. I think I like this. I think I like the way this felt. I feel like I see less product on the actual sponge and it actually, you know, is on my face. <laughs> um, it feels really nice. It's bouncing on the skin. So I'm just gonna go over my face all over with this sponge so it just looks the same. But I definitely like this sponge better. I really, really, really like this sponge. Elf might have done something with this sponge. Um, the coverage is really nice. Um, the color I think is perfect for the girls who try to match my shade or who are um, similar in shade to me. Nutmeg 365, again, is the shade. Perfect, one of my faves. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the base of my shadow so I can try out the, the e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow. Okay, so I added some eyeshadow um, that is not Target brand. Um, I didn't pick up Target brand eyeshadow, I just really wanted to try the e.l.f. liquid matte shadow or liquid metallic. Um, so it's purple and I think it was in the color Supernova, and it is. And guys, when I took it out of the box, she's cute. She played us, but she's cute. I was like, oh, that was all packaging. 
But I mean, how much of this stuff do you really need? So I'm just trying to figure out if I want to like cut the crease to make it pop. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try this concealer again. I really don't know how to use this, so I'm just gonna wind it up. Okay, nothing crazy, just cut it a little bit. We're gonna go in and see what this is giving us. Okay, it's a cute little wand. That given color payoff, it's so um, lightweight. It kind of glides on. I'm gonna let it dry like two seconds. And we're gonna add a little bit more. What you guys think, y'all? I think this is really pretty. It's it's nice. So I can say it was buildable. Um, I let it dry for like, I don't know, 30 seconds and I added some more. And it's, I think as it's drying down, it's looking more metallic. Yeah, so I'm gonna just blend in my shadow, finish the other eye and see what it's giving us. Okay guys, here is my eye. Pretty, 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 pretty. Purple looks so good on us brownies. So I added a little eyeliner. And then, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eye with the concealer. Now, <laughs> y'all know me in this concealer. It's just, let's see. Ooh, she thick. Definitely thick. All right. We're going back with Sonia. I, I have a feeling this dries down fast, so I don't have to, to wait. The color's not super bad. It's definitely a highlighting color. I can't with this sponge. <laughs> I just can't. All right, we're gonna, we're done with her. Oh, much better. Well, she's giving me highlights. <laughs> just gonna put a little bit on my chin. Okay, so I just did a little bit of bronzing and I can't wait to get into these um, putty blushes. I wanna say blush putties, but putty blushes. And I don't know which color would, I guess this one. Maybe that one, this one. I don't know what would look better with this makeup, but we're gonna swatch them. I see how this feels. So this color is, um, what the heck? Oh my God, y'all, it doesn't say. And I forgot. Now why wouldn't you put the color on the packaging? Oh well, I'll go back <laughs> and see what it was called. Um, but that's this right here. So pretty. So pretty, feels so good. All right, I don't think that's gonna be the one for today. 
but I like that. I'll definitely try that maybe another day. Okay, and this is this color right here. It looks like a wine color. And that's this. These are pigmented for sure. Like, she's pretty. Oops. Very pretty, very, very pretty. I think I'm gonna do this one. The one I almost forgot. <laughs> now I have a um, Real Techniques Sam and Nick brush. This is also from Target. One of my faves, I use this for um, concealer a lot of the time, but we're gonna try this with a blush. All right, I'm gonna flip. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's fine, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna, we're gonna blend her in. See, I definitely think that you can put this under your concealer, but it's doing good. It's shearing out the way it should. Right. Pretty, so pretty. As I was applying it, it just absorbed into the foundation. It became one with the foundation. Really nice, feels really pretty. All right, there you have it for the blush. I added some on the other cheek. I think I added enough. I kinda wanna like layer a little bit of this color on. Let's see if I just, just a little bit, just a little bit. I just tapped it in once and it didn't do much, but it gave it a little bit. Lastly, I'm going to go in with the Sky High foundation. Again, this is black as, not a foundation, it's not a foundation. It's a mascara. Um, and it's in the color black as black. That's what I always get when I get mascara. Here is the wand. There you go. It's like um, one of those wands for me that you don't, I, I kind of like the brush wands. You don't really expect this to do much, but it's saying it can make these ball lashes look like they're falsy. So let's see. And we're gonna go in with the after. All right, I'm just gonna go in at the top a little bit. I like to do that, all right. Definitely see a difference. This eye is definitely bald headed compared to this one. Um, I'm going go in again and I'm gonna get this bottom lash. Okay, so here is no mascara. Mascara. I mean, I think it's definitely a nice mascara. It's, um, I don't know if it's all that serious, but it's nice. I want them to look like falsy. All right, so here are both eyes. Um, I think once I put mascara on this eye, I was feeling it a little bit more. You know how you have one eye and one eyebrow that just behaves better? Um, this one just behaves better. These lashes either, they're better, but also this one was clumping due to getting some of the liquid liner, um, liquid shadow on it. This is pretty, for me, I can wear this no problem. I have very, very sensitive eyes. Mascara tends to irritate my eye. Um, I'm not irritated just yet. So, I mean, it's really as the day goes, 
but um, so far so good. It's not like burning upon, for, upon first application. So that's a good sign. I used everything that I purchased and I am honestly really happy with this. Guys, you can get your face to look flawless with drugstore makeup, affordable makeup. This foundation, like I said, is dirt cheap. I'll put everything in the description box below. I think I'll just finish off with a lip gloss. Okay, so I'm back all done with my Target makeup. I am loving my face. Um, everything came out great. I'm so happy with my purchases. I actually really love this <laughs> concealer. Um, this is definitely something I will keep and probably rebuy in the future. Um, my Fit Me foundation, I swear, I swear by this. I swear by this and this will last you set this you spray it you set it with powder and you spray it voila you don't even really have to but you can this is one of my favorite like top three no lie top three and um, the mascara she's cute I think um, the mascara is really nice it's you know I'll use the tube I don't know if I'll buy it again but um, it didn't do that much for me at least I don't think so I love this blush and you know I definitely will probably put this under my foundation first next time go a little ham next time under the foundation so then when you cover it it just peeks through so you can definitely do this both ways um, let me see about this poreless primer I think it did a pretty good job I'm not gonna lie I, I I'm not gonna lie I think it did a pretty good job I, um, like my pores aren't, like, my pores aren't doing too much, you know? They're not out here telling all my business. You can kind of still see, you know, bags a little bit. I didn't set the under eye concealer, but, like, when you're looking straight on, you don't really see my bag. So, I think it still held up pretty good. It's not, like, super drying. It feels good. Nothing on my face feels heavy. The liquid shadow how pretty is this how freaking pretty is this and you know what elf you really you've really been hitting home runs like the 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 sponge the sponge i really 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 like this sponge i didn't even really well i use this side for when the concealer but um this right here just this flat side bouncing on my skin it didn't absorb too much of my foundation i really like that um you know how I feel about her. I will probably never use her again. I'll give her to my daughters to play with. And I think that's it. So guys, go out, go to Target, get some affordable makeup, great quality. Everything that I got was the perfect color, the perfect shade. Um, I know that the e.l.f. Um, blushes are hard to find, but you can look online. And if you can't find it in Target, go on e.l.f.com. I'm sure you can find it there. So drop that in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this look and how everything looks to you. I hope I helped a fellow brown girl out there with the shade. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification for my next videos. And drop down, let me know if there's any other um, products that you would like me to try out for you guys. I'd love to do that. Be sure to subscribe to my Instagram, at the real Emily Wills. Follow me there. And I'll see you all in my next video.